Hello. My name is Belle. I'm a freelancer. I like to share about the true life stories. When you subscribe my channel, you will learn a lot lesson and value of true life stories. I'm uploading video every single day. Make sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Howard Hughes was born in Humboldt, Texas, USA, on Christmas Eve 1905. As a young man, he longed to attain to everything in this world without limits. But unfortunately, he never wanted to have a low self-esteem. Hughes wanted to be a famous film producer, a pilot, own a restaurant, as well as be a rich man, and he managed to get it all. Beginning in his early 20s, he produced the films Hell's Angels, Scarface and The Outlaw to Win, and accolades in Hollywood as well as co-owned, and developed Trans World Airlines. As a pilot, he recorded several aircraft speed records which he himself helped plan. Hughes also helped design, and develop the world's largest HL-4 Hercules aircraft, made of wood and dubbed the Spruce Goose. At various points in his life, he once owned a film studio equipment company, a medical research institute, a casino, a large number of properties, and hotels in Las Vegas, several airplanes and an aircraft manufacturing plant. Once while testing a prototype aircraft, he fell, and nearly died. While in recovery, Hughes relied heavily on painkillers. Today, Hughes is still an iconic 20th century figure, not only because of his professional accomplishments, but also because of his uncontrollable behavior, and repetitive obsession, or so-called obsessive compulsive disorder OCD, experienced in the end of his life. In 1966 at the age of 60, he was the richest man in the world, but lived in fear of a contagious disease. His life became increasingly precarious, for example like living four months in a dark room of a screening studio, eating nothing but chocolate, chicken, and milk, and just sitting and watching a movie. If Hughes didn't like someone, he wouldn't come into contact with them. He also did not dare to hold the bathroom door knob, for fear that his hands would get dirty, and he often washed his hands repeatedly. Its employees also need to constantly wash their hands, and wear white gloves. Hughes, would use a tool to pick up an item, and burn his clothes for fear of being infected with germs. Toward the end of his life, he injected codeine into his body every day. Her hygiene also began to decline. He rarely bathed and brushed his teeth and let his nails grow long, and his weight began to shrink. Hughes, finally died on April 5, 1976, at 13.27 at the age of 70, from kidney problems while on his way to Methodist Hospital in Houston. Hughes is buried in Glenwood in Houston, Texas, next to his parents' grave. The story of Howard Hughes, was adapted into the 2004 film, The Aviator. The five Academy Awards film has featured Leonardo DiCaprio, as Howard Hughes.